Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market prep video for January 6th, 2019. So I hope everyone had a great weekend, a little resting and relaxing, because we have a little bit of stress coming into the market this morning. We're going to have to watch this pretty closely. Not really the way we want to see the first full week of trading um, in 2020 begin, but you know, we're dealt, uh, we deal with the hands we're dealt. And this morning, we're dealt with a hand where we have a little bit of saber rattling going on between the US and China. Of course, we don't want to forget North Korea over there kind of kicking some sand our direction as well, trying to raise a fuss. So we have these tensions going on, and that's creating some negative reaction in world markets. Pretty interesting morning setup here overall. So let's take a look at what we have going here in this market. Um, technically, we still, Friday, the bulls did a really good job maintaining and holding trend. They never broke this down. In fact, they defended immediately after the gap down on Friday coming in holding up pretty strongly. Now this morning we're looking at another gap down situation. We've got our futures pointing to um, 150 uh, point gap down, 175 point gap down. We've been kind of bouncing around here uh, this morning. So the question remains, will those bulls have enough energy to continue to defend these overall trends in the market or will they begin to slip and break down as this saber rattling between the two countries, uh, US and Iran, continues to intensify. We'll have to watch, wait, and see, but certainly a little bit of uncomfortableness um, in the chart. Now, one thing that's gonna be kind of important is that we hold on to some price supports. Not only trend, but hold on to some price supports. We wanna hang in there, we wanna see those bulls hold on to those. If those start to slip and give up, then we really could have a pretty substantial wave of selling coming into the market. So you want to watch that carefully and, and just be real careful about how you approach the market and how much risk you take on this market. Let's remember that we are a long ways. We have a pretty substantial drop just to get to the 50 day moving average. And we have been running up here pretty strongly for some time. So with that in mind, a pullback is not out of the question. A pullback would not even be odd, but any geopolitical event such as this can create massive shifts in sentiment really quickly, just on every news report we can have this massive shift in sentiment. So we're going to want to be really careful, be very, very focused on that price action. And we'll want to consider that carefully as how we apply risk to this market. You want to think about that because it could really quickly cause some trouble. We could shift bullishly and bearishly really on any news story very, very quick at the drop of a hat. So you'll want to think about that carefully. Watch those levels pretty closely. The next level I would see here, if we break down through this little little level right in here, next level support is down in here. That would be a substantial move for the for the Dow and could be a little bit painful um, overall. So keep that in mind if those bears do decide to wake up and um, reassert themselves in this market. We haven't seen them for a while and they're probably a little bit hungry. So um don't be too surprised if they do reassert themselves here a little bit and try to push um, to see and test those levels of support. Let's take a look at uh, the SPY. SPY holding up very, very strongly on Friday. Nothing wrong in here, depending on how you want to draw that trend if we eliminate these outliers here. We have a nice strong trend holding up. Now this morning, we're, we are once again, we're looking at a gap down situation this morning. It's not huge, but we are looking at a gap down this morning. And so far we're holding on to that price support and that's gonna be critical because if we start breaking down trend, if we start breaking support levels, then it wouldn't be that far uh, 
um, out of out of the question to see that next support level come into play. So let's watch that pretty closely this morning as this develops. And this story could flip back and forth very, very quickly. So um, we'll just want to really stay on our toes, be focused on that price action. Let's take a look at the Qs. Qs also looking at a gap down situation this morning. Now the bulls right now in the futures market are trying to put on a brave face um, here, but um, the NASDAQ is looking at about a 52 point um, uh, decline here in the NASDAQ futures. And so a pretty substantial move lower here on um, that tech sector. The tech sector has been extremely, extremely strong. And I think we're going to be fine as long as we hold on to price support in here. If that were to fail, however, just notice it could be a substantial move down to the next major support in that price action. And we are, you know, again, once again, significantly far away from that 50 day moving average. So that that uh, fall off could be relatively strong. Right now, as I'm speaking, futures continue to try to push up. They're really trying, the bulls are trying to put on a brave face this morning and lift us back up. We were down over 170 points at one point just a few minutes ago now we're down 139 they're really trying to put on a brave face here this morning but that can also put us into that situation where we can get trapped um, remember they could rally back up immediately find selling at the open and uh, drive us down so make sure you're paying attention to that morning gap watching that price action closely so that you don't chase in and get caught in uh, that potential pop and drop or a drop and pop uh, situation we'll want to watch carefully how they follow through with this move this morning. Let's take a look at IWM. IWM on Friday, um, really pretty darn bearish and it's gapped down and it rallied back up, but let's kind of make note here of what we have going on in this trend. And we did actually break some support in this chart now this isn't a terrible situation not a terrible situation at all because iwm has been lagging behind for a long long time it's not like we're falling away from new highs or anything like that but we don't want to see this really failing through these levels of support and then finding resistance back above so again pullback is okay but a lower high failure is not and we'll want to watch that pretty closely. If we cannot hold that up and we start drifting back down, breaking through um, additional levels of support, um, IWM, remember, can be one of those indexes that lead the market. It can lead us up, it can lead us down. So we'll want to watch um, IWM pretty closely this morning. Let's take a look at the VIX. The VIX had a bit of a spike back up here on Friday, and I suggested that it probably wouldn't be any big deal unless we gap or break above this area right in here. There's that downtrend in the VIX, and here's a support level in the VIX. If we were to get above here, and it's one thing to get above it, it's another thing to hold in this area as support and start higher. That's where the real selling could begin if that occurs. So we'll wanna watch that area pretty closely as we reach up here in that fear starts to creep up here in the market. Remember, as fear creeps up, um, option prices change. And as that volatility um, increases, we could have some interesting situations here in the price action of those options. Watch this closely. The VIX could easily slip over um, this resistance level, holding it as support, really bringing in some fear and a substantial sell-off. Um, if we can hold this area in here, then I think we're going to be in pretty good shape. If the fear doesn't well up too much, if we get some kind of news story that is positive, um, we, and we hold in this area and drift back down, we should be in pretty good shape. So let's watch that pretty closely. That could be a real telltale sign for the market um, over the next few days. Let's take a look at T2122. It's that four week new high, new low ratio. And on Friday, um, although those bulls held up pretty well, we, we closed a little bit lower 
than we had. And so it pulled back T2122 just a little bit. Now the good news on that is that T2122 doesn't really give us directional input. What it does is it tells us that we have an area here now, an open area to the upside. So if the bulls can find inspiration in some way, shape or form, there is now room to move to the upside. But what we want to also keep in mind is that we have a big open space here for potential moves to the downside and if those bull or excuse me bears um, decide to reassert themselves and really start driving and pressing and testing those support levels in the chart we do have a substantial space here for that potential move down as bullish as the market is we always have to remember pullbacks are normal they happen all the time now the geopolitical event pullback can be very very violent so you'll want to be very watchful of that price action be careful not you know one of the things i hear all the time is just buy the dip well we're going to pull up just buy the dip that'll that'll work well, it works until it doesn't. And when it doesn't, it's usually extremely painful. So please just stay very focused to that price action in there. I'd hate to see someone get caught. You know, we really haven't had one of those pullbacks where we get a four or 500 point move all at once. I'm not suggesting that that is today or even this week or anything like that. But we all know when it happens, it's a very, very painful event and it can happen really quickly. So keep that in mind if this is one of those events and we're trying to hold up in the futures and we see selling coming in right after the open then it could turn into one of those events so watch that price action at the open carefully be careful not to chase in be smart at how you apply your risk in this market let's take a look at our earnings calendar today and our excuse me our economic calendar first our economic calendar if we take a look at that doesn't have much going on here today and that's going to be a problem for us maybe because one of the reasons we've been able to hold up is we've um, we've had so many positive things in the calendar to be able to react to well we certainly don't have that today we have virtually nothing for the market to really react to this morning on the calendar and that really follows through on the earnings as well we only have four companies on the earnings calendar today none of which are um, anywhere near um, what I would consider notable um, uh, the kind of companies that could really move the market or provide us some inspiration so kind of keep that in mind the market will be focused mostly on news events and how that news continues to roll out and that possibility of that fear arising um, in this situation now now that I've noted that we have kind of a quiet week um, on the earnings calendar this week but keep in mind next week beginning next week middle of next week we start earnings season again again if you can believe that and I think it's the 15th on the 15th we have um when some of the big banks, BAC, Goldman Sachs, PNC Financial, uh, US Bancorp, um, begin to report. So you'll want to keep that in mind. Next week, we really start to crank things up on that earnings calendar. And that's where we could find that inspiration. The bulls or bears could find inspiration in those earnings reports. So plan that into your week and, and how that may affect um, your trading. Let's take a look at um, um, some charts that could be setting up. But before we do that, if you guys wouldn't mind, if you could do me a favor, click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when uh, it pops up so that you can be notified every time I post one of these videos. You know, the purpose of these videos are, are to help everyone um, think about how you want to approach the market for the day to try to remove that emotion that you might be feeling of this morning fear or in some mornings uh, that fear of missing out um, in a trade and to avoid that emotion by really looking at the technicals of the chart and trying to decide how you want to approach that market today with a thoughtful process rather than an emotional process and if you find these to be helpful if you could also do me a favor and click that thumbs up button and 
leave a brief comment. Also, feel free to share these videos um, anywhere. You can just click that share button, grab the link, share it over onto your Facebook, Twitter pages, whatever social media outlet you use. That helps us continue to grow the channel. And I really want to say thank you to everyone who does that. Um, helps us a lot and our channel continues to grow. And thank you so much. You guys are awesome. I truly, truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at a few stocks that could be setting up. But one of the things I'm going to be really careful and cautious of here is to remind everyone that with the volatility of this market right now, we're going to have to be really, really careful. Now, one place you might want to look places in the oil sector. Halliburton has been a very, very strong chart breaking through this resistance and consolidating here. Friday, we had a little pop and drop on that chart, but notice we're right in here. Uh, this pink line is an alert for me. And as this drifts over toward its trend, in here we want to be watching this at any time in here Halliburton could maybe start taking off now Halliburton you know we're seeing those oil sector stocks moving higher and they're moving higher because of the tensions between the US and Iran and the expectations that oil uh, prices will continue to move up and it moved up sharply overnight so let's watch that closely and others um, um, might be like Schlumberger. You can look all over the place in the oil sector and we're starting to see some of that bullish strength breaking through price resistance levels, holding on to trends, those kind of things. So we're starting to see um, a pretty good setups in some of these oil sector stocks. You might want to keep an eye on that. You also might want to keep an in times of threat or concern. Um, you might want to take a look at things like GLD. GLD made a bit has made a big move here recently as that fear increases. Now I wouldn't chase into this here and as you can see we're pushing this resistance high in this chart but it's one to keep an eye on any rest consolidation or pullback may provide an opportunity into that trade and if this continues to escalate between US and Iran then uh, we might see more movement toward that fear area. Another place that you can look um, in these areas would be utilities. Um, XLU, um, you can go in here, um, look um, uh, in the XLU uh, stocks in here, see what is working, what's not. There may be some opportunity um, in this sector because um, utilities tend to do well in times of market fear. Other places that you might look, and uh, you guys know I've mentioned this a couple of times, I'm actually holding a position in Coke, and it gapped down substantially, the ugly gap down on Friday, but rallied right back up. I continued to hold that trade because I have a nice profit in it already. Let's keep an eye on uh, Coca-Cola. If that can hold in this area, and this is one of those defensive sector stocks, but it can also, Coke can be adversely affected big time if the market really starts to sink. So we'll want to watch that pretty closely. If that rallies back up and holds above that support, it should be in good, good shape. But if it fails right here, maybe time to close that trade. So keep an eye on Coke. Another place that um, you might want to look is take a look at Nike. Nike held up really, really well on Friday, holding, breaking through this resistance up in here. You can see if I, I go to a weekly, this is a blue sky high breakout. So uh, nothing uh, as resistance above and what a beautiful recovery on Friday after that gap down, showing lots and lots of strength there in Nike, really wanting to, uh, to move on higher it looks like. So holding trend, holding support, Nike might be a place to look for a trade. Um, other places, there's just, there's stocks all over the place that have pretty good signs, pretty good signals in them. Um, um, NVIDIA has been holding up very, very strong, held up really well here, might be something to keep an eye on. Um, I still think it has that possibility that it may need to consolidate over to trend, but NVIDIA breaking through some price resistance, holding it as support, still looking pretty good here overall. Might want to keep an eye on that. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day, and I want to wish you great profits. Once again, I want to ask you if, if 
you haven't subscribed to the channel, please take the, a moment to do that and, and to leave a brief comment. Thank you very much, everyone. I want to wish you all the very best day of today. And hopefully there's profits coming into your account by the end of the day. If you're struggling as a trader, I want to encourage you not to give up. I can tell you that... Um, I share this with, with members of Right Way Options and Hit Run Candlesticks all the time that um, I struggled for a long time as a trader and it took me, it took a lot of effort to finally figure this out and be able to make a career out of trading full time. So I want to encourage each and every one of you to never give up on that dream. It may be tough, but you know, things worth having are usually tough to attain. And so keep at it, keep up that hard work. And if we can help, we'd sure love to talk with you and see if there's something we could do to help you um, improve your trading. So with that, everyone, have a great day. Wish you all the best. And we'll talk to you all bright and early Tuesday morning. Talk to you soon.